and there we go we've got a part two of our wonderful stream for today i'm your host dr fox 2000 you're watching volcano x and uh, we are now live for part two and the stream is reset and uh, we're good for the next 12 hours so let's see what happens and uh, the lucky person here uh, as i see uh, was a uh, sparks uh, sparks got the cookies and uh, sparks uh, stepped on lizoid on the way in and uh, that is horrible i, I don't know uh, what um gonna happen uh, there um yeah he's uh, been uh, pulling weeds oh uh, that could be a why okay anyway uh yeah i will i will do that though uh i've got uh, fresh ones here uh, will i get them out okay so uh save yourself some uh, there uh, sparks and uh, maybe slide a couple over to a lizoid uh, he'll enjoy those uh once i start pulling weeds i can't stop oh are you uh, Lizoid, are you as addicted to weeds? Hmm. Uh, yeah, Lizoid is addicted to weeds, apparently. Anyway, <laughs> oh boy, and that doesn't sound very good. Uh, the weed, uh, weed, uh, Lizoid. Okay. No, uh, they are addicted to me. Oh boy. Well, they're just trying to give you a happy home there, Lizoid. That's the way it works. <laughs> Keep uh, smiling with the weeds. Uh, you got to love them uh, weeds. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's all good. Uh, what happened to uh, Wonky Donkey? I don't know what happened. Did something happen to Wonky Donkey we don't know about? Other than him being um, relatively late all the time and not paying attention to his clock. He's uh, always uh, blasting things and stuff like that. And doesn't realize there's uh, noise uh, limitations at night and things. Weeds are um, misplaced to plants. Oh, uh, are they really weeds? <laughs> anyway ah uh, okay it is uh, uh good that we got everyone uh, filtering in here and we're still missing a few uh, but uh, that is okay for those good people who are uh, uh popping over from the, the old stream if you haven't yet hit that like button don't forget it's a new stream so we gotta do her again and uh, let's see what we can do to uh get up there as far as uh those uh wonderful numbers of uh likes so a uh, pretty cool uh anyway uh cooksters and well what happened to cooksters he's uh, probably still stuck over in the other one uh there's uh, only five people left over there uh dan renewed his membership over on the other one uh, so uh, that was a uh, pretty awesome and uh, dan if you made it over here all uh, cool and uh yeah let's see if uh, we can uh, do that we're going to get uh, that one off of here and uh, we'll, I, i'm just going to paste that one more time just to make sure nobody has gotten lost okay uh, so all good there and i got rid of that so hopefully that will be good and uh, i'm going to go take that break and then of course after our break we will have our wonderful bacon seeds from a piggy and that uh, she provided so uh, that is a very very cool uh, hang in there everyone a lot more to come and we'll uh, keep smiling I'm your host dr. Fox 2000 you're watching volcano X I'll be back after the break here's uh, some uh, tunes in the meantime <laughs>
go. The microphone is uh, back on. And uh, old Nick, what do you mean you don't see me? I'm right here. Uh, how could you not see me? <laughs> I've been uh, sitting here the entire time uh, watching you complain. Uh, anyway, yeah, thank you for the uh, welcome backs. They're a Sioux and a Kananaskis country. And Sharon Stewart chiming in with, I hear you, Dr. Fox 2000. And uh, Sarah going, and there is a talk. Uh, thank you, uh, Connie, for the uh, welcome back as well. Super Dave uh, says, this, uh, what, uh, this was supposed to be a talk. And jamming uh, the uh, ragtime uh, tunes, uh, uh, what uh, turns out uh, it's a cold uh, what? Uh, it's a, a piano, a player piano, a player piano. Okay, fine. Uh, what in the heck are you brewing up there? I uh, M I O uh, energy uh, water plus uh, various uh, flavors. Plus caffeine, plus a B3 and a B6 and a B12. What the heck are you making there, Kim Rodenbush? Uh, that uh, sounds uh, dangerous. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, was a complaint. <laughs> he complains. Uh, okay. All right, let's uh, get on with what we uh, promised to uh, put on uh, the screen now. And uh, that, of course, is... Bacon seeds. <clears throat> Let's uh, see if we can find a few. And of course, uh, this was uh, the last one we seen uh, last time. Energy drink. Yep, coffee. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's the uh, first one uh, from today. And uh, this one, uh, I think he needs a little bit of a hogwash too. Uh, but, you know, he's still cuddly and smiley and enjoying his day. Uh, M uh, I O is a, a, a water enhancer, a water enhancer. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pardon me. Seem to have a um, <clears throat> something uh, stuck in my throat. Um, maybe my tongue. <laughs> yeah. Yep. A little bit of uh, a hogwash from that bacon seed. Let's uh, go to the uh, next one. And again, these are. Uh, puggy looking little uh, fellas. Uh, these guys are at home in their little uh, farm area. And uh, that is a pretty uh, cool. Let's see. Um, yeah, getting a little bit of a petting, a smiling. Uh, they like it. Um, next one, a lap, a center. Yep, uh, Pudgy. You bet. Um, and uh, these ones, uh, they're more indoorsy kind. Uh, I think we've seen them uh, before. That's the one pointing at the fridge. Yep, he's uh, definitely pointing. And uh, going, hey, I want some of that. <laughs> Let's uh, carry on to our next one, though. And, uh, yep, and this one is uh, quite white uh, with a uh, pink uh, snout bopper. And um, you can uh, tell these uh, almost uh, blends in completely here. A very awesome looking uh, bacon seed. Tiny trotters. Yep. And uh, fuzzy and cute. Absolutely. And uh, next one. And uh, there's uh, another one. I think uh, that one needs a hogwash too. Uh, she had to pull him out of uh, the uh, bowl because he was uh, drowning. <laughs> Uh, going, he was uh, being a pig. Get it? Oh, bad humor. Tough crowd today. A tough crowd. All right. He was uh, being a pig. Uh, I, I thought it was. Uh, camouflage a pig. Yeah, the other one. Yep, for sure. Uh, Larry L., you're welcome. And uh, let's we'll see what these guys are up to. Oh, uh, they're in a huddle. Uh, they're uh, getting uh, the uh, game plan down. And uh, I, I don't know what's going to go on here, but um, they all need a hogwash, too. Uh, one is uh, Russet and the uh, uh, pigs are red. Oh, yep. Well, I don't know uh, what kind they are, but yeah, it's um, wrinkly noses and they're, they're um, conniving about something. Ha! <laughs> 
who knows? Uh, four times at the um, uh, hogwash. Awesome in there, Sue. Let's uh, get to uh, the next one. And uh, here's uh, the uh, three amigos. I think we uh, may have uh, seen them before. The ones with the uh, black eyes there. All uh, cool. Let's uh, go have a look at the uh, next one. And uh, oh my god, what a woolly character this is. Um, I'm not sure what brand of a pig that is, but uh, that is uh, definitely a, a woolly looking one. I'm not sure if anyone knows, but um, yeah, um, that's uh, not the kind of pig you think. Uh, sheepish, absolutely. And bad hair day, I, I think so. <laughs> Yeah, uh, real bad hair day. Um, it used to be nice and straight, right? Uh, but uh, it's all good. Um, anyway, uh, that is uh, Poodle Pig. Yep, uh, someone uh, put him uh, through the uh, dryer on a fluff, air fluff. Yeah, let's uh, take a look at the uh, next uh, bacon seed. And uh, oh, uh, more of his kind. I, at first, when I uh, looked at this, I thought maybe these are Irish, but uh, they're not. <laughs> uh, these are uh, definitely uh, full of uh, fur. Uh, they uh, must live in the uh, sheep pigs. Yep, uh, they must live in a climate uh, that's a little colder. Piggle. Uh, yep, uh, sure, uh, that one. We, I'm uh, sure we can get... Uh, I wonder what you can make out of that pig wool. Uh, that'd be uh, interesting stuff. And this is our second last one. We got one more bacon seed, and I'm not sure. I can't remember what it was. Uh, oh, that's... Oh, and this is uh, the mama and the, the little ones. And uh, look at the cute little ones. All uh, red in color. And uh, the mama, of course... Uh, eating uh, what she needs to uh, to keep uh, them happy. These are some awesome bacon seeds and uh, fox piggies. <laughs> yeah, uh, very uh, very uh, cool. And uh, of course we got uh, seven uh, little uh, pigs and of course Mama on uh, that screen. Uh, Mama needs a, um, I think a hogwash there. And we'll see what we can do with that, eh? Um, so a hogwash for Mama, and uh, the other ones are all uh, pretty cool. Yep. Anyway, and that's it for our bacon seeds for today. A big, big thank you to Piggy for getting those in. And, of course, they are awesome. And we really do appreciate her efforts. So uh, thank you, Piggy, uh, for uh, helping out and uh, getting uh, these in. Uh, very cool stuff. And uh, let's uh, continue on with uh, what uh, we are doing here. And that, of course, is uh, going through some of the uh, volcanic activity around the world. Um, and again, because I'm, I've been out of town, I don't know exactly what's going on in some of the other places, like here. And uh, that is, of course... Merapi in central Java, Indonesia. And as you can see, it is uh, not at the right time. <laughs> Let's uh, get there. Okay, and uh, looking at the uh, cloud work there. Uh, 7.25 a.m. And we uh, don't see a heck of a lot. If we uh, go back a little bit, uh, they had some uh, funky looking clouds sitting on top. But uh, nothing uh, really um, too sinister going on. And if we uh, go back a little further, that same cloud was lit up in the uh, top area here. Unfortunately, the other screens are all uh, kind of going, eh, too much cloud. And uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, or do we have anything? Uh oh, a red screen. Uh, red is uh, never a good screen color. And let's see uh, what we got uh, further uh, back, though. Ooh, I think we might even have some bacon. Uh, this is uh, 51 minutes after midnight, and uh, we uh, do get past all that cloud work, and we uh, do have some bacon coming down the hill, uh, so uh, that is uh, pretty cool. Um, so I am out of a st uh, state, and uh, Pepper's uh, back home. Yeah, darn it, uh, that uh, poor Pepper. Yeah, hopefully, 
Hopefully you will bring her back some treats there, Mr. Tom. That is uh, vitally important. Uh, so uh, she knows uh, that she's loved. Right? And here's some more bacon coming out 26 minutes after midnight uh, their time. And you can see it uh, progressing uh, down the hill. So uh, pretty awesome. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong uh, key. I'm trying to advance it here to uh, show. Uh, we had little spots further on as well. So some heavier uh, chunks being uh, tossed out of there. Uh, pretty uh, cool. And looking at the IR uh, down on the bottom uh, left. We can uh, see a little bit of uh, that activity as well. So is uh, Merapi doing okay today? Yep, I uh, say so. Uh, let's see uh, what we got here. Uh, there's some more bacon flow at 2357 just before midnight. Uh, very uh, cool. And uh, let's see if we can uh, spot anything else. I think uh, the rest uh, might have been in cloud work. And uh, we couldn't see a heck of a lot. So let's leave it there. I'm giving a Merapi a thumbs up for today. Let's put it back on live and have a look at our next one. And that'll be a to all. This is the 16th. So let's have a look there. And of course, that is Madame Rutsa giving us a quick report on a to all a volcano. That is that structure in here. And we can see it there. It is degassing a little bit, but not a heck of a lot going on. I want to see if she might have another one from the 17th. Let's just refresh that and take a look under short views. And no, she doesn't have another one. So it is that one. That's all we've got for the report today on Ta'al. And uh, that is uh, still pretty good, though, uh, to see uh, that off-gassing. And uh, we can uh, see a little bit of a puff there coming up from uh, this end where the business end is, if you will. All uh, good there. Let's uh, go to uh, the next one. And uh, we'll see if uh, this uh, draws out a wonky donkey. Uh, why is uh, that not moving? It stopped. Let's uh, make it a uh, move. Okay, and this is wonky donkey food. Where is that guy? Let's I'll put it back on live. Let's see what it looks like there today. Uh, if it will go to live, I, I, do I have to refresh it? I do. Okay, and that is a normal. Uh, everything is acting up. All right, uh, we're not going to see it. We can see a whole bunch of a cloud over top. And that is unfortunate. And I'm not seeing if we can spot anything earlier here. And it's about the same earlier as well. So let's leave it there. And that is Mount Ruapehu in New Zealand. And I'm not uh, able to see it. So we'll uh, skip that one. A quick uh, look at the next shot up. Of course, uh, this is uh, our wonderful Tao Po. And uh, Tao Po. Uh, the uh, lake, of course, is the caldera for Tao Po. It's huge. It is a super volcano. You see all that cloud right there? That's what's covering up Mount Ruapehu over there on the, uh, where you see the uh, hamster uh, wiggling around. Uh, that is uh, Mount Ruapehu uh, behind uh, there. So, uh, pretty awesome. Uh, looks a little a bit uh, breezy there. At temperature 18 C or 65 uh, Fahrenheit, uh, winds uh, south, uh, west southwest, the uh, 16 uh, miles per hour, 26 kilometers an hour, uh, relative humidity is sitting at the 63 per percent. So, uh, pretty awesome uh, to uh, see that, and a beautiful uh, day there for those guys. A little bit uh, windy might be good for a, a kite flying a day. Anyway, uh, this is shot courtesy of uh, Suncourt Hotel and Conference Center there in Tao Po. On uh, that friendly note, it is a uh, time to get you uh, back to uh, the other ones. And uh, we'll uh, get, uh, I just want to make sure I got them all uh, back to normal. We'll go uh, back here. It is a uh, time for me to go take another break, ladies and gentlemen. So let's uh, get that done and uh, i want to uh, thank everyone for being here for those good people who 
have already bought that like button a great and if you haven't quick give it a shot it's free it don't cost anything anyway um ours i got what i got hs i got oh, it got worse oh why oh something got worse don't get worse oh oh it had has it got worse no no it's uh, not worse worse is i'm um, not good we like better <laughs> anyway uh for those good people who are still here uh, please uh, hang in there lots more to come after the break we will head on over to uh, japan and then we'll uh, do a volcano report and um, no the volcano hasn't gotten worse it's uh, still uh, cooking and uh, that's a good thing um all right time for a break i'll be back keep smiling everyone
A microphone is back on. The ice cream boat is in and it is docked for those who haven't noticed. It's a sitting right there. So get your ice cream. Head on down and grab it quick. Thank you for the welcome backs there from Kananaskas Country and Sue and Cookster and Mr. Pillar. Welcome Harold. Good to see you and uh, pretty awesome yep i get uh, down there get your ice cream and uh, do your thing you can see it uh, down the road there you got a pretty uh, smooth uh, drive uh, down or a uh, run down there and then make sure you hang a left at uh, the uh, lights and get down there to uh, get yourself some uh, wonderful ice cream oh awesome and uh, sharon stewart uh, chiming in with i hear you Dr. Fox 2000. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I know that. <laughs> oh, uh, cool, uh, cool. Okay, uh, ice cream boat is on the move. It's uh, taken off now. If you haven't got your ice cream, it's uh, too late. Uh, they are uh, going. Uh, fix, uh, what? Fixing a, a knitting mistake. Distracted or distracting it. <laughs> oh, you weren't singing the right song. What is it supposed to be? Uh oh, Sue, you're gonna have to get the boat out. It's a moving. Uh, it is a little uh, too late there. Um, yep, I get them before they get out of the harbor anyway. It's uh, all good. I'm sure you can accomplish that, and that's uh, not far to go. Anyway, and this is uh, Japan in the background, a Sakurajima volcano. And, of course, uh, we haven't seen it for a couple of days, so I don't know what's going on. doesn't look like it's too busy right there in that shot. Let's uh, take a look at uh, the uh, next one and see. 
uh, easy tools getting things ordered and uh, you need a gas station what are you ordering a gas station stuff now how about we go to this one uh, this is the next uh, place of uh, excitement and we'll get back to Sakurajima in a minute this is uh, ASO of course and this is the only active event in here in ASO ASO of course uh, being a super volcano massive uh, complex at 25 kilometers by 50, uh, 19 kilometers in size so um, to see only one vent not uh, really weird that's all we want to see <laughs> uh, that uh, could be scary there's uh, lots of uh, people living in that caldera so uh, we uh, do see that there I don't know what it was uh, doing earlier today though uh, I didn't uh, of course I didn't get a chance to look at much of anything uh, right at the sunrise let's see if we can kind of uh, see what they have there this is kind of a neat silhouette but uh, yeah you see a little bit of smoke there and if we uh, go back a little bit further uh, we uh, see a plume but we uh, don't see any lava glow and uh, that is all okay and if we go back a little bit further we do see lava glow and uh, there you go so that is about uh, six hours ago so uh, that is still active and hot doing its thing and if we uh, go even uh, further back uh, to maybe about eight uh, eight hours ago or so if it'll show us the picture now it uh, doesn't want to it's uh, being stubborn again okay and uh, what about the uh, further back it was a uh, cloudy oh no we see it was glowing further back and actually in two spots so uh, there as well as over on this side uh, pretty cool all right, let's leave that be, and uh, we'll uh, put that back on live. And that is ASO, of course, and it's a couple hundred kilometers north of uh, Sakurajima. Let's uh, see if we can uh, make that smaller. Go back to uh, Sakurajima and see what it is doing. There it is, and uh, let's uh, back up in time a little bit. Uh, this is about 45 minutes back, really uh, no difference. We'll uh, get back a whole bunch, and this is about uh, 3 hours and 14 minutes ago. We do see some uh, plumage uh, of uh, material coming out of it. I don't know uh, what all was uh, happening there, or if that might might have been some cloud uh, zipping by as well. That looks a little odd. Uh, pink clouds. Hmm, things that make you go, hmm, pink clouds. I've never seen pink clouds before. Okay, so uh, that is a uh, pretty uh, interesting. Uh, thanks, uh, Sue, for the uh, tiger tail ice cream. And uh, we uh, see a little less activity earlier. Um, go uh, check uh, for lava glow. I don't see anything uh, within that caldera. If we uh, go back a little bit further, yeah, a little bit more cloud sitting close by. So uh, hard to tell what's really going on, but it's not billowing out as much of that gas as it used to so things are a little bit more in a calm state mind you um you never uh, hold that against the volcano it uh, could be calm and then uh, 10 seconds later it could be erupting like you've never seen before let's uh, make that one smaller and we'll uh, carry on to our last one here and of course uh, this is Asama, Asama about 100 kilometers uh, west uh, northwest of uh, Tokyo and uh, this one is um, really in the clouds today looks like there may be some billowing there but uh, not much and a bug going up there okay uh, that really bugs me um, let's see what we got here um, and again these are interesting plumes uh, going up and out of uh, the area let's see if we uh, spot anything uh, further back it was a uh, kind of a um, inclement weather uh, there as well uh, in the uh, nighttime we can't see a heck of a lot so let's uh, keep going here no no good uh, visibility uh, oh maybe about uh, almost 12 hours ago you can see some uh, degassing happening there uh, definitely uh, uh, shooting stuff out and that was at uh, just about 2200 or uh, uh, what is 2200 uh, that'd be 10 p.m their time 
uh, that's still in our future, but uh, they're past, okay? Uh, because that's the way it is. I'm back to alive, and that is a pretty awesome looking. Let's uh, continue on, uh, though. We're going to uh, take a look at, uh, well, we'll see. Is the second ice cream boat showed up yet? No. No, not yet. We'll uh, check on that later. Make sure I got all these other ones knocked back down to the right size. There we go. And uh, here we are uh, back in Iceland. And uh, we'll uh, see if we can uh, spot anything uh, there. Um, I wanted to change out that other one up top. The uh, Husa, uh, or sorry, Hagerfeld uh, cam. But I uh, know it's uh, just going to uh, buffer and buffer and buffer. But I, I don't know. I just want to. Um, let's see. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what about the there? No, oh, it's going to be the other shot of this one. Let's see uh, what it uh, looks like now. Um, or will it even uh, come to life? Well, if it uh, buffers once, we'll uh, get rid of it. Uh, anyway, uh, that is a close-up on uh, the uh, caldera from a uh, from Iceland. And, uh, of course, that is showing you what's going on there. Now, remember what I was saying about the right-hand side of that view there. It looks like that uh, a cone wall really thickened up. So it needs a lot of um, washing to uh, get uh, that extra material out of there and to keep it going. Uh, but interesting and all the way through to uh, see that. Let's, though, let's get over and take a look at our volcano report for today. And i got to make sure I'm on the right one, the 16th. Yep, that would be the one. So it says um, Monday's, oh, hang on, what did we miss? Oh, Monday's late volcanic activity. Uh, oh, I got a Monday and a Tuesday. Uh, is that Tuesday, Monday's? Oh, Monday's activity and then uh, Monday's uh, volcanic activity. Four volcanoes. You're messing me up here. All right, and we got a two and a four. Uh, all right, well, we have um, a report from uh, uh, Fernandina. We're going to take a look at that. That's in the Galapagos Islands, as well as one from... Luo to buy a lucky lucky on a Flores Island in Indonesia and then we got a four uh, for late Monday's volcanic activity uh, four volcanoes on the list a Reventador in Ecuador a volcanic ash and cloud to 15,000 feet 4600 meters reported at 2100 and a Nevado del Ruz in Colombia a volcanic ash not visible reported at 2145 Next is Sangay in Ecuador. A sporadic emissions of a volcanic ash reported at 2230. And Sabancaya in Peru. Continuous ash emissions to 2300 feet or 7000 meters reported at 2345. So that is all old stuff. Let's take a look and see what we got for new stuff. And we'll start out with uh, uh, Tuesday's uh, volcanic activity, 11 volcanoes on the list. And we have Abu Helamahera Island uh, in Indonesia, volcanic ash to 14,000 feet, 4,300 meters, and reported at 1 a.m. And then we have a separate report for that one as well from uh, 2.53 a.m. All right, uh, next is Fuego in Guatemala. Uh, frequent uh, volcanic ash emissions to uh, 16,000 feet or 4,900 meters reported at uh, 1.30 this morning. And then again, uh, uh, volcanic ash emissions continue to uh, 16,000 feet, 4,900 meters reported at 12.45. Next, uh, since Ibu is getting some uh, uh, show time there, uh, Decono is also uh, complaining. And uh, that is also on Helamahera Island in Indonesia. A continuous volcanic ash uh, uh, to uh, 8,000 feet or 2,400 meters reported at 2 a.m. And again at uh, uh, 2.15 p.m. or 14.15, if you will. 
and that is a pretty awesome okay next is uh, santiaguito in guatemala a sporadic emissions of uh, volcanic ash reported at 2 a.m and we already did a report on the uh, rakens volcano update which we seen earlier and that is from uh, 2 uh, 41 and that's all about the um movement and uh, stuff there with the uh, little quake swarm uh, pretty cool uh, uh, Semeru, East Java, Indonesia. Uh, discrete uh, volcanic ash uh, emissions observed uh, from the ground reported at uh, 7 uh, 15 a.m. and again at uh, 13 uh, 30. And a uh, Raung volcano, and uh, that is uh, Sengfi Island. I, I don't know if it's a uh, 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 Sula. Sulawesi and a sang, sangi, sanghi. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably butchering that name. Anyway, it's an island in Indonesia. Uh, Raung. Uh, no, or is it Ruang? They got it. Ruang. Uh, did I say it right? Ruang. Um, anyway, and that is a, a cool. Uh, volcanic ash to 4,000 feet at 1,200 meters reported at 8.45 a.m. And then high level, uh, high level of volcanic ash eruption to 30,000 feet or 9,100 meters reported at uh, 1,900. Next one is uh, Sabancaya in the Peru. Uh, volcanic ash emissions to 23,000 feet, 7,000 meters reported at 9 a.m. Then intermittent uh, emissions of uh, two, uh, four, sorry, uh, 31,000 feet. Wow, this one's uh, pumping it out too. And 9,400 meters reported at 1545. I'm trying to read everything uh, twice and read ahead. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Reventador in Ecuador, uh, possible of volcanic ash emissions to 15,000 feet or 4,600 meters reported at 9 a.m. And uh, San Gay, of course, uh, back in there as well. Uh, in Ecuador, uh, previous uh, volcanic ash uh, has uh, dispersed, uh, reported at 9.15 a.m. And uh, Nevado de Ruz in Colombia. New volcanic ash emissions to uh, 23,000 feet as uh, 7,000 meters reported at 1645. So all of them seem to be um, uh, really shooting up there quite a bit. So, uh, you know, when we see numbers uh, uh, above uh, 23,000, really 24,000 feet, uh, that uh, kind of gets uh, a little higher up into that atmosphere makes us wonder and we've got uh Ru ruang doing it as well as uh, which was the other one a uh, seven kaya and uh, you know uh, that is uh, big guns uh, shooting off uh, some of that uh, bad emission into the atmosphere i don't know uh, it's uh, yucky i know that camera's shaking a little bit too much if uh, people are getting motion sick and just let me know i will uh, put a uh, different uh, feed on uh, for that uh, top left one if it's uh, jiggling too much I know it uh, bugs me but anyway uh, we are actually going to uh, go away from that for a second uh, let me get over to uh, the other reports and we're going to have a look at uh, them uh, we already did the uh, Reagan's one so let's uh, take a look and see uh, what we have happening at Fernandina uh, Fernandina volcano and uh, there is, yep, let's see, get rid of that little thing. Uh, Fernandina a Volcano, Galapagos Island, uh, progress, uh, la, uh, what, progression, uh, lava flow has uh, diminished. Okay, so um, let's uh, take a look at uh, this uh, photo. Now we know that uh, the lava has uh, gotten out and created uh, this little uh, delta here. Uh, mirror uh, or sorry a minor amount of water vapor and gas emissions emitting from uh, the uh, lava delta on uh, the 13th of April and uh, you can see that uh, in here I'm assuming this is the water I'm assuming uh, that is land I'm looking at the uh, colors and uh, that is our uh, delta here that, that built up so 
a little bit extra land. Uh, hey, anyone want to buy a, um, a nice beachfront uh, property? I have got some uh, for sale. Uh, anyway, the effusive eruption at the volcano continues. The lava flow advance seems to have uh, slowed down a bit due to uh, lesser amounts of gas steam emissions at uh, the uh, new uh, lava delta uh, identified uh, in uh, a planet a scope a satellite image uh, from uh, the 13th. As sulfur dioxide emissions uh, reached uh, 120 uh, tons, or 120.3 tons, on uh, 2 uh, 55 a.m. local time on the uh, 13th, and according to the uh, Morova uh, detection system, a, a modern uh, thermal anomaly, uh, 14 uh, megawatts, uh, was uh, detected in the satellite imagery. Uh, or satellite image uh, yesterday and uh, the volcano uh, is uninhabited they're not calling it an island they're calling it a volcano and uh, there is uh, no threat to population of course there's always a threat to population hey uh, what don't uh, the uh, turtles count turtles count don't they anyway let's uh, keep going uh, so we uh, had a look at uh, Fernandina and let's uh, take a look at the uh, next one here and uh, this is a uh, nice and uh, tall and shiny shiny here uh, this is uh, our uh, let's see uh, what is it it's a luo to buy a lucky lucky uh, volcano flores island and uh, explosions continue glow visible in the uh, crater uh, su uh, suggest a rise of magma oh yeah there's a magma we uh, like it it turns into lava though and what's with this line? Hmm, a meter maybe? Uh, who knows? Uh, so uh, that was from last night. That's a pretty cool shot. And I'm not I'm sure what that was about. And uh, hey, hey, who is that, that masked uh, monk in here? I, I don't know. That's a scary looking animal. Uh, he's hiding. All right, let's leave that. Uh, vertical pillars and... Um, Miniature uh, tubes are uh, formed by a uh, lava uh, dripping and uh, flowing down from the top of a hornito. And uh, that is a uh, pretty cool. Okay. Now, ah, all right. Uh, crypto. Somebody tried to give me crypto today. I didn't want that. Anyway, um, let's see. F threat to a uh, flora and fauna. We haven't got there yet. Uh, let's uh, take a look here. The explosive eruption at the uh, uh, volcano continues uh, throughout uh, yesterday. Three Strombolian to volcanian sized eruptions uh, continued uh, to uh, generate a uh, uh, what dense uh, gray ash columns, uh, releasing a tephra to an estimated uh, two kilometer altitude uh, towards uh, the north and west and uh, southwest. Um, they forgot to put down east. Uh, that's the only uh, direction they missed. All right, a, a visible incandescence atop of the volcano indicates a, a rise of fresh magma through the main conduit. The uh, volcano observatory reported a seismic signal with a maximum amplitude of 4.4 millimeters and a duration of 111 seconds at uh, 1920. Uh, local yesterday and uh, the uh, time uh, the alert of the volcano or the alert level remains at two yeah and stay uh, two or five kilometers away depending on which side you're on all oh, cool let's leave uh, that one be and we got one more let's uh, go and take a look uh, real quick at Ibu and then it is a uh, break time and uh, we'll uh, look at uh, this Ibu volcano Halamahera Island Indonesia Above average explosion has uh, sent uh, ash uh, up to uh, 10,900 feet this morning. And uh, look at it, uh, way up there, way up. And that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, the uh, towering pillar of ash, uh, gas, and other ejector from Ibu uh, volcano uh, this morning. Uh, image from a PVMBG. Uh, that looks uh, pretty cool. All right, uh, definitely a uh, puffing. 
and uh, let's see uh, the eruptive activity continues the volcano's uh, behavior is uh, characterized uh, by a combination of a near constant uh, moderate uh, to a sporadic uh, strong volcanian uh, type explosions uh, from the caldera's uh, cinder cone over the uh, past uh, several weeks um, a, a strong, uh, strong, stronger than usual explosion took place from the uh, volcano's uh, cinder cone at uh, 9.13 local time this morning. A, a spectacular gray ash-laden plume reached at 10,900 feet or 3,300 meters and extended uh, to the uh, west and uh, southwest. Uh, the Volcano Observatory uh, reported a seismic a signal with a maximum amplitude of uh, 48 millimeters and a duration of 178 uh, seconds. And that just uh, tells us it's going to continue. <laughs> okay, all good. So uh, thank you, Sue, for sending in the uh, Volcano Report and all of these wonderful... Uh, um, vol uh, extra volcano reports. I really do appreciate that. So let's uh, leave uh, those there now. Let's uh, put us uh, back into Iceland real quick. And uh, I am going to go take a break. Uh, so uh, for those good people who are here, if you have uh, not yet bought that like button, give it a quick shot. Help us out. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed and you're enjoying the show, please consider subscribing. And on those uh, friendly notes, um, I'm going to go take that break. Turn the music on. Here we go. Music. Cue the music. Oh, it's a metal blues. All right, I'll be back. Keep smiling. Thanks.
and there we go microphone is back on welcome or welcome back everyone i'm your host dr fox 2000 you're watching volcano x live stream uh, thank you uh, for the uh, welcome backs from uh, mr pillar and sue and sasha and a uh, canonascus country and i uh, welcome uh, mars and uh, thanks a uh, cookster i appreciate that and there she is going I hear you, Dr. Fox 2000, from uh, Sharon Sturt and High Sparks. And um, the uh, games are beginning again. <laughs> I'm buffering, buffering, buffering. Oh, buffering succotash. Um, no, um, what's, what's that? Uh, well, uh, no, it's uh, the duck that says that, isn't it? Uh, Daffy. Is it a uh, Daffy? Or whatever the duck is. Uh, suffering Thickadash. Something like that. Um, anyway, let's uh, continue on. A tremor arising on most of the charts. Yep, and that's all always uh, good. Um, we like things rising. Alright, uh, so uh, we had a look at our volcano report. We uh, went through that. We had a look at the extra reports there. It is uh, time to go see what's uh, shaken around uh, the planet since we haven't had a look at uh, that yet. So uh, let's see uh, what we've got going on today. Uh, shaking wise, other than that camera that was driving me crazy. Uh, let's uh, take a look and we'll start out uh, up there in the uh, Kamchatka Peninsula and of the Aleutian Islands and we uh, see a couple of quakes, a small one and that is a 4.9 and that's not really that small and that's a 4.37 a.m. 10 kilometers down for that one and the other one is a, a 5.0 from a 4.37 as well at 10 kilometers down and almost in the same spot but you know a little bit of a separation between them uh, that looks uh, pretty cool and uh, let's see about 20 seconds apart and that is uh, pretty awesome and uh, uh, one may have uh, caused the other one anyway let's uh, continue uh, down the Aleutian Islands we see uh, this one here 4.1 uh, Un Alaska area and uh, that's from a uh, 1433 yesterday at 10.9 kilometers down then we got a small one here 3.0 at uh, what's a uh, Ugashek if I said it right, Ugashek, uh, 4.51 a.m., 8.9 kilometers down, and a bunch more little ones uh, that are reasonable size, you know, in twos and stuff like that, uh, throughout Alaska, pretty a uh, common occurrence. Let's uh, continue uh, down uh, the uh, western side of uh, North America. We see a 3.0 here uh, near Petrolia. Uh, from uh, on the 15th. Uh, why is it still? Oh, yeah, it's, I guess uh, still within that uh, time period. Uh, 2108 was at the time there, 17.9 kilometers down. Uh, it's uh, getting a little closer. I'm sure somebody uh, would have uh, felt things. And don't see too much going on here. We uh, do still have some swarming out in uh, the eastern parts of the United States. In, in New Jersey, there's a 1.0 there. Uh, point a four and another little guy a point a three so there's still some activity there and of course and that is all a part and parcel to our uh, wonderful Appalachians and the Appalachian Mountains uh, two point a zero there from a 350 from a today uh, 8.9 kilometers down for that one kind of interesting I hope that subsides and you can see, you know, the fact that there's movement on both ends means that we'll see something in between here, a move as well. Now, uh, getting further uh, south, uh, we uh, see uh, this one here. Uh, that looks like uh, Guatemala. It is Guatemala, 4.4 .4 from a 1336. And uh, that is 68.6 kilometers down sliding down uh, through uh, Central America a little bit more and into well we don't see anything in Peru this is either a Chile yeah I think it oh it's Argentina already 
a 4.5 from a 1530 <clears throat> 209.9 kilometers down and sliding further down nothing and in the uh, south sandwich islands let's uh, take a look at the uh, <coughs> pardon me antarctic ridge uh, we uh, don't see anything uh, uh, popping up uh, there so let's uh, take a look at uh, new zealand and uh, what do we got here mm, very close and this is a white isle volcano here and this is a 4.4 and that's 60 kilometers west northwest of Hicks Bay in New Zealand and uh, what a heck of a place to be uh, 1230 is the time that it popped and that was at uh, 53.1 kilometers down could it affect our uh, white isle volcano here you bet uh, that is uh, close enough and big enough uh, so anything is possible and uh, going further up, we don't see anything uh, on the uh, Kermadec Ridge. Uh, nothing out in Tonga, nothing in Fiji. We get to Vanuatu, we have a 5.0, and uh, that's at 1.56 a.m., uh, 39.6 kilometers down for him. Sliding over a little bit more, we see uh, this one in Indonesia. And near uh, Timor Leste, it's a 4.9 from yesterday at 2107, a 504.4 kilometers down. And the next one we see is, is that actually, yeah, I was going to say, is it on uh, Java? No, it's in the water, but uh, very close. Uh, Krakatau is over here. Jakarta is uh, there. This is a 4.8, and uh, this is from a 2118 uh, yesterday, 35 kilometers down for that guy and the sliding up a little bit more and um, what do we got here and this is uh, 40 kilometers southeast of Port Blair India and uh, wow that is a fair sized quake a 5.2 and that came in at 1701 at 54.3 kilometers down uh, always interesting to see that and we could have uh, some more volcanic activity in uh, that region and that would be a pretty cool uh, moving on though let's see uh, we have got nothing over here by uh, Helamahera Island in the Philippines a uh, southern end looking okay uh, once we get to a uh, central regions here uh, next to a uh, Mindendo Island uh, we got a 5.0 on the northern side a uh, northeastern side and uh, that is uh, 10.06 a.m. 44.4 kilometers down uh, looking out here, Guam area, 5.5, uh, and uh, that's from 8 to 58 is uh, the time uh, today, and uh, 10 kilometers down for him is Zoo Islands, or is that um, Bowen Island region? It is uh, Bowen, uh, from uh, 14 and 19, uh, 10 kilometers down for uh, that one, and another one over here in the uh, Taiwan area, uh, 4.4 I'm uh, hoping that these things will subside and uh, those people will have uh, some opportunities to uh, rest and rebuild and uh, do what they need to anyway at uh, 12 uh, 59 was the time on that one 32.2 kilometers down uh, moving up and going up all the way into uh, Japan here and uh, this is a uh, Yamada uh, Japan area and uh, that is from a uh, 1221 today at 56.4 kilometers down for him we already got the one up here in the Kamchatka so let's uh, continue on we got this guy and uh, nothing up here in um, the Afghanistan uh, region or Tajikistan or northern well that's not northern China western China I guess uh, over here in Iran, we see uh, this one, it's a 4.3, and uh, that is from uh, 1459, 10 kilometers down for him. Uh, looking uh, quickly uh, down to Africa, I don't see anything else uh, there, but we do see uh, this one up here, and it looks like a 4.3 in Turkey from uh, 1509, uh, 10 uh, kilometers down for that, and of course, that's the Arabian uh, plate uh, pushing up against the uh, Anatolian uh, plate, which in turn will push up against uh, the Aegean microplate. These are all microplates, so 
um, that's uh, what's going on there nothing over here in uh, the Azores and uh, we don't see anything else I'm popping anywhere else uh, let's uh, zoom out and make sure we uh, didn't miss any stragglers somewhere in hidden places and I don't see anything else so let's uh, take a look at Hawaii real quick and uh, we're going to do a quick job on there but uh, we'll uh, start out with this one out in the water that's a 2.3 uh, 1404 was the time on it at uh, 45.9 kilometers down now uh, when we look in here I like what I'm seeing a little bit more action uh, this one uh, up on uh, Mauna Loa uh, 1.9 from 1706 uh, 7.8 kilometers up below sea level and then uh, we've got a whole bunch here so I'm going to uh, do uh, uh, times I'm not going to worry about uh, depth okay so uh, that's all good uh 2.5 and 1009 for him and then we got uh, this guy at uh, 1.3 from 8 to 40 and uh, we have a, a 1.4 from a 10 to 39 we have a, a 1.4 from a 904 we have a, a 1.3 from 8 to 50 and uh, we have a 1.4 from a 927 and we have a 1.3 from 8.59 we have a 1.9 from a 13.43 and we have this guy here 1.9 from a 13.44 and then going down a little bit further uh, 1.4 15.06 and that's a 300 meters below sea level and this one is a 1.2 Four from a 10 a 26 200 meters below sea level and this one is a 1.4 from a 15 19 and it is a hundred meters above a sea level so that's a little shallower and this one is a 1.4 from a yesterday at 21 19 700 meters down uh, 1.3 from uh, 34 minutes after midnight 200 meters down and uh, this is a, a 1.3 from a 1956 600 meters uh, down and uh, a 1.3 from a 2:43 a.m. at uh, 200 uh, meters uh, down so that takes care of uh, those over there let's uh, grab uh, these three out in the water first uh, 2.4 from a 16.49 and a 29 uh, 27.9 kilometers down a 1.8 from yesterday at 21 13 at 27.4 kilometers down a 2.0 from a 6 11 a.m. at a 28.3 kilometers down then we've got uh, 1.7 from a 17 at 24 uh, 28.6 clicks down and we'll grab these ones uh, 1.7 from 109 a.m. 31.8 kilometers down uh, 1.8 from yesterday 2331 uh, 32.3 kilometers down uh, 2.3 from today at 1812 from a 34.3 kilometers down and the one right underneath Pahala uh, 2.3 uh, 4 uh, 57 a.m. Uh, 20 uh, sorry uh, 32 uh, 5 kilometers down and uh, this is a uh, 1.7 just to the uh, north uh, west uh, from a uh, 359 a.m. 27.9 clicks down and uh, then we've got uh, 1.9 uh, 651 a.m. 35.4 kilometers down uh, 2.3 from 8 uh, 43 a.m and a 32.6 kilometers down and the next one uh, 1 1.8 from a 752 and that was uh, today of course and a 32.7 kilometers below sea level so that is it for the quakes oh we missed this guy over here that's a 2.3 from a 1404 and Hawaii Paradise a park area 16 kilometers out into the water Wow at uh, 45.9 kilometers and down though that's a uh, quite deep uh, for uh, these uh, quakes anyway that is it uh, for Hawaii so uh, pretty awesome to uh, see that and um, 
yeah um hopefully at that um hawaii won't shake too much but uh, we want to see a few more rumbles there indicating that we've got some magma on the move so and that would really really be nice all right it is almost a break time let's uh, get us over here and uh, we'll uh, continue to uh, watch the uh, lava come out of our wonderful rakens uh, vent sunny as we nicknamed it and uh, keep uh, smiling everyone and have a, a sunny day i'm going to go take that break if you have not yet hit that like button please and give it a quick bop also if you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing and uh, that'd be awesome and uh, help us uh, grow our channel on uh, those uh, friendly notes i'm your host dr fox 2000 here in edmonton alberta canada where it is one degree Celsius, and on occasion we see snowflakes going by. Yes, snowflakes. I know, I know. It's just the way it is. Anyway, I'm going to go take that break, keep smiling, and uh, hear some, some music in the meantime. Let's uh, play that. Play that funky music. Play. Come on, play. Hit play. That's not funky. How about this one? Get down. Down with your get up. Okay. Unknown album. All right. We'll let that play. Uh, don't go away. Keep smiling. Hit the like button. And uh, I'll be back. Thanks.
go the microphone is uh, back on and I'm uh, trying to figure out how come I'm only uh, seeing uh, one person uh, left in the stream uh, <laughs> this is a uh, crazy uh, thank you Susie uh, for the uh, welcome back and uh, now I see uh, four people in here I, uh, I'm uh, looking at the graph and we went uh, down at the beginning of the break uh, from uh, 37 down to a uh, 4 and I'm uh, trying to figure out uh, what the heck is going on I see uh, the frame rates aren't uh, that bad and people shouldn't be buffering but um, apparently um, uh, YouTube may be having some issues and now it says uh, to uh, Grandma B it says I'm getting an error uh, wow I, I wonder why uh, there Grandma B and uh, thanks I can and ask his country uh, for the welcome uh, back I don't understand why um, it's going a wacko. I mean, it's uh, a bit rates a little wonky, but uh, not. Oh, in a chat. Okay. Uh, that is a weird. Um, I'm getting errors too. I wonder if uh, YouTube's got some issues uh, going on. Uh, well, I hope everyone. Uh, uh, I keep uh, getting uh, booted out of uh, YouTube. Wow, uh, YouTube does have some issues then uh, from the sounds of things uh, because, uh, yeah, it looks like I've got like uh, two <laughs> people watching the stream and uh, makes me wonder what the heck is going on uh, from a 37 down to 2. Well, I'm going to keep going here in case uh, you guys are able to listen and watch and just not able to chat. And uh, we'll uh, continue on with uh, doing what we were supposed to. And uh, that is uh, going over uh, to our uh, windy.com. And uh, we'll uh, do uh, this uh, real quick. Uh, windy.com. And uh, we'll uh, go with that. And we'll get to our uh, more layers. And uh, let's see, uh, more. And uh, we'll uh, find our SO2 map. Uh, wherever it uh, went uh, swells SO2 and uh, there we go and uh, we're going to uh, get ready for that so uh, just a, a strange error message okay and uh, that is a uh, very very weird all right uh, so um, I'm gonna keep it uh, brief and the first thing uh, that we're looking at is the uh, northern hemisphere and we can see uh, quite a bit of uh, SO2 up in the Antarctic, or sorry, the Arctic Ocean up here, uh, above, uh, well, it's actually everywhere, but uh, mainly uh, going up straight north from the Kamchatka and, um, um, of course, Alaska here. Uh, doesn't look like it's uh, anywhere near as bad as it could be. Our standard uh, output from uh, the uh, Kamchatka Peninsula uh, doing uh, pretty normal and of course uh, that is uh Shivlish, uh, Klyashevskoy, uh, Bezimiani, um, uh, Karimsky and uh, Matnovsky on the uh, peninsula that are active and uh, uh, down on the bottom here we've got Ibiko and uh, uh, Chikaratsky on uh, Paramashir Island uh, so uh, they're doing uh, that plume and uh, that is uh, getting all the way uh, through here and I really I can't tell how much is coming off of this. You can see a separate plume here. This will be for uh, our uh, wonderful. Um, what is that? Uh, that's a Shiv uh, uh, Shisheldon. A uh, Grandma B. I gifted one there. Grandma uh, B. Uh, thank you for uh, gifting a uh, one uh, membership there. And I don't know who's going to get it. I haven't seen it yet, but maybe we'll see YouTube spit that out. Uh, Claudia Hicks uh, not having any problems with YouTube here. You're lucky. Uh, at least uh, that worked. And Steve V got, uh, gra uh, got gifted uh, that one. Uh, thank you, Grandma B. And uh, that is all uh, good. And uh, looking at uh, Alaska, not uh, bad levels. Same thing with the Yukon, a little heavier over here in the eastern parts of Northwest Territories. And of course, none of it has got quite a bit there as well. 
British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba, and even most of Ontario looking pretty good with the exception of the Panhandle and lighter levels up in northern Quebec and uh, looks like uh, Labrador is uh, pretty good. Newfoundland and Nova Scotia all uh, good. PEI, New Brunswick, uh, Maine, uh, New Hampshire, uh, uh, Vermont, and uh, most of uh, New York State uh, all are uh, doing a uh, very good. Massachusetts as well. Uh, the uh, stuff from our industrial uh, bread ba basket as I, I call it here of course around the Great Lakes and in the uh, eastern portions of the, the U.S. are uh, still uh, fairly uh, heavy there. Uh, western side looking uh, pretty darn good. No need to uh, reiterate on that. And then, of course, uh, Mexico City, Popo Cante Petal. Uh, some of the uh, previous uh, output from uh, Popo is uh, still uh, floating around in the Gulf of Mexico, as well as uh, going uh, from uh, I guess all the way here in uh, Georgia, all the way out to the Pacific Ocean. Uh, Central American uh, guys, <coughs> uh, we have uh, all kinds of just uh, continuing to push everything into the Pacific. Pretty uh, normal uh, from there. I thought a seven Kaya should have more, but it uh, doesn't. And uh, Chile is uh, doing its thing as a uh, normal, as well as a uh, Rio, pretty uh, normal looking. Uh, down here, a fair amount coming off of a uh, Michael Volcano. That's a heck of a plume, so it's picked up the pace a little bit uh, down there. And we are still seeing some of the uh, residual plumes from uh, who knows where. And uh, this one is a little bit fresher. It might be an indicator uh, that we may have added uh, somewhere around here. And uh, Heard Island region or somewhere around uh, that area. Uh, is a possible and uh, looking at uh, well it doesn't look like the quake made it uh, put out anymore and that is a white isle volcano in uh, new zealand uh, still uh, doing its thing a uh, normal uh, for australia there for the uh, coking plants and the oil refinery a uh, tonga still looking uh, good over here uh, yasur gawa aoba abrams are uh, doing uh, their thing uh, up here in papua new guinea and we are still seeing our friends uh, there. And uh, Luotalak and Luotamai and Laki Laki and working together to uh, make uh, that mess. And then of course uh, here, uh, Semeru uh, pouring out uh, some SO2 in that direction. And not sure how much is coming off of uh, Murapi. We do see a fair uh, plume over there though. And uh, moving here, we see, well, uh, Jakarta right uh, there with a larger plume and then of course a crack a towel over here uh, continuing to uh, do its thing so all are good uh, YouTube uh, definitely playing up my TV I lost a video uh, when uh, things got uh, going to subscription okay and um, and uh, now Susie is emailing me and uh, telling me uh, that she's got uh, problems. Um, yep, uh, trying uh, to be there. Um, yep, uh, YouTube is uh, uh, but uh, YouTube is uh, not letting me. Yeah, YouTube is uh, causing some problems for everyone, and uh, not good right now. Uh, that uh, don't do well for a show. <laughs> anyway, uh, normal stuff here in. Uh, our uh, wonderful uh, 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 Indonesia <laughs> that's uh, what I'm trying to think of uh, pretty unnormal I'm not going to worry about uh, that let's go over uh, to Ibu and the Kono we see a lot of that going to uh, the east there from uh, Helamahera Island so uh, pretty normal and it uh, looks like a little heavier levels uh, from uh, Mayon today and then of of course out here uh, from a tall a volcano this one right here and uh, kind of uh, going up to the north so let's uh, continue on uh, looking at uh, what we've got in the Marianas a uh, pretty normal there heavy output and uh, Taiwan still uh, doing uh, their stuff Suwano Sijima that has a fair a plume uh, there today uh, 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 Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, has a fair a plume as well uh, what is it, uh, Kuni, 
Oichni, Jima, something like that, uh, for a raid in there. And then, of course, Sakura Jima, I can uh, see that one. And Aso, uh, I'm producing uh, that, a thumb. Uh, one person, okay, uh, that is a wild. Well, I'll uh, keep going in case uh, they can listen and hear me yet. And uh, we'll uh, just uh, do this real quick. Uh, Tokyo, pretty uh, quiet. Asama uh, still uh, putting out a fair amount uh, there. And uh, continuing on uh, with uh, uh, China, pretty uh, normal. Uh, so is uh, India. And uh, looks like a little easier in the western parts of uh, Pakistan. Uh, nothing uh, from Reunion Island and South Africa still uh, doing its thing uh, down there with the gold smelting and Nyamuragira and Miragongo uh, is uh, doing its uh, thing there uh, Democratic Republic of uh, the Congo of course and uh, let's see uh, over on uh, this side here we've got uh, uh, who do we have there Erta Ale and uh, the uh, Danakil uh, Depression and then, of course, here in Saudi Arabia and Kuwait and Iraq, Iran, uh, the, uh, the oil refineries are spotted everywhere. And not so bad in uh, some parts of uh, Turkey. And Piggy has clean air, uh, which is uh, really awesome. And the lava uh, ghosts are playing with us. Uh-huh, possible. Uh, and, of course, here in our wonderful... Uh, uh, Mount Etna uh, pluming off to the uh, north and south. Some are coming from a Stromboli as well. You can see a little bit of a separate uh, plume there, but this is uh, definitely a Mount Etna's a mess. And we'll uh, leave uh, that one be there. And of course, looking at uh, Europe, Europe is actually in a pretty good shape, except for those green measles. And uh, then uh, we get into uh, Norway, Sweden, and uh, not that bad. Finland's got a little bit more, but uh, we see a whole bunch up top here, and uh, likely some uh, heavy uh, pollution from somewhere in Russia. All right, and Iceland uh, looking uh, pretty uh, darn clean, and uh, that is all good. So, uh, yeah, um, we got England and uh, Wales and Ireland. Everybody's uh, clear. Uh, they've uh, got a uh, pretty decent uh, weather there, so uh, that is all good. And I will leave it as that. I'm going to go check and see how many people are still in here. And uh, let's see. Uh, it looks like I'm uh, talking to myself. I got one person in here. Uh, Shandell, are you uh, still here? <laughs> and uh, King uh, Colin uh, didn't um, uh, uh, don't not uh, think uh, my uh, chat has uh, been seen. Uh, I, I do see your chat. Uh, Dwayne, I also see yours. Uh, I don't know what uh, YouTube is up to, but uh, uh, it is uh, just incredible. Um, hopefully, uh, some of uh, you can actually hear me, um, and uh, we are still getting out. Um, anyway, I'm going to do this uh, real quick because uh, Sheila, I'm here. Okay, uh, Sheila, all good. Um, I'm going to just uh, do uh, this real quick because I don't know if uh, this is uh, working or not. Uh, so uh, we're going to go to uh, the weather map real quick. A peak uh, looks like uh, warm up here in Alaska and uh, not so good in uh, central Alberta. Darn it uh, for us. And uh, the rest of uh, Canada doesn't look too bad. Northern Quebec not good. Uh, looks like uh, the states are uh, quite warm. And we are seeing uh, temperatures up to uh, 37 degrees uh, there so far in uh, Mexico. And uh, that would be uh, right around here. And, uh, of course, uh, 37s are there. I don't see any uh, 38s uh, for uh, now. Uh, let's uh, zoom uh, back out, continue on, and uh, take a look uh, here. We see a uh, 35s in uh, Colombia and uh, possibly a little bit warmer there uh, 35s I thought I'd th seen the 36 here in uh, Venezuela as well but I guess uh, maybe not okay a uh, 35s it is uh, Boa, Boa Vista sitting at a uh, 31 32 and a uh, 33 in uh, that region sliding down a little bit more 
Argentina, not um, not that warm. Sao Paulo, 22. Uh, Buenos Aires are sitting at a 15, and the Paysandu sitting at a 15 as well. So, little a little cooler in that whole vicinity. Let's uh, go over to uh, New Zealand real quick. Uh, looking at uh, Christchurch is a 13. Auckland is sitting at about 18. And we know Tao Po sitting about uh, 16, 17, around uh, 19 uh, there in Hastings. Uh, Hobart is uh, sitting at uh, 15 at uh, the uh, northern end of the island, not that much warmer at 17. And we see uh, Melbourne at uh, 15, 16, Adelaide 17, and uh, 21 uh, there in uh, Sydney, 26 uh, for home of Oz. And we aren't seeing those very high temperatures there either. 33s, let's see if we can beat that 35 degrees that we see. Uh, YouTube problems, thank you, Sue. I understand that. That is a YouTube problem. So we're going to go and just continue very quickly. Uh, Kagoshima 22, and Tokyo sitting at 23, Sao Paulo. Sapporo is sitting at uh, about a 16, up to about uh, 9 or 10 there on the Kamchatka Peninsula in some spots. A Delhi coming in at a 22. And uh, let's see uh, what we got here in uh, Africa. Maybe um, Africa will uh, take the high temp now. Uh, no, it uh, looks like uh, about a 34 was the highest I've seen in here. So uh, let's uh, leave it as uh, that. And uh, um, just a quick a peek at uh, Europe. Uh, looks like a little uh, cooler there. Munich, a uh, five. Yeah, uh, not so good. Uh, Piggy's a uh, place I know is a uh, pretty uh, nice. Uh, 20 degrees in there for her. Uh, the rest, and we'll uh, just leave alone. London sitting at a uh, four or five. Leeds uh, sitting at a uh, four. Uh, Glasgow is a uh, uh, two, a uh, four in Aberdeen, and Dublin as a. Uh, Four and a six over there in uh, Irish Monks homeland. There's uh, that nasty low that's uh, giving us all the weather. Uh, two uh, degrees in uh, Reykjavik and uh, the Ganindavik are sitting at a uh, three, and the Rankins Bar sitting at about a uh, three as well. Let's uh, continue on and uh, find uh, cold attempts real quick. And I know uh, Sue is probably. Uh, having uh, difficulties uh, with uh, getting on the internet there. So far I see a minus a 73, 74. Let's see uh, what else uh, we got here. Minus 74 is uh, about uh, the coldest I see. And I'm, I'm just gonna run uh, through it. I'm gonna call it a minus a 74. And uh, we'll uh, just uh, write that down, a minus a 74. And then we'll go here and see what we got. A minus 38 so far. There's a minus 39 in Greenland. A minus 39. And let's zoom in a little bit. Maybe we'll find a minus 40. I doubt it though. Minus 39. And um, yep, there we go. Minus a 39, uh, still uh, there. Not seeing any uh, minus a uh, 40s. Uh, so I, I think we're gonna have to live with a minus a uh, 39 for uh, now. I'm gonna write that, that down as well. Minus a uh, 39, and I uh, will uh, go uh, take a look at the, the uh, Canadian uh, North. Uh, which is a lot warmer than it has been in the past. And uh, we're not seeing uh, those uh, cold places. Uh, minus uh, 26 up here. And uh, not uh, that cold. And uh, that's uh, probably good. Uh, minus uh, 26. And uh, what do we got here? Minus uh, 25s. 24s. Uh, minus uh, 25s. I, I think a minus a 26 might be a, the high or the low attempt for today. So I will I'll leave it as a, that, a minus a 26. And uh, I'm uh, probably uh, talking to myself, but uh, hey, that's okay. 
uh, we'll uh, go here it looks like a minus a 15 up on uh, the mountain uh, minus a 15 for Alaska and uh, yeah I, I don't think there's anything a uh, colder minus a 15 for Alaska okay minus a 15 and I will uh, leave that be and we will get over to uh, Russia and see if we can find uh, some uh, cold stuff there just about uh, done um, there oh, here what uh, we're here uh, that number is a mistake <laughs> minus a 29 um uh, minus a 30 uh, there in russia so far that's a uh, right in here a uh, minus a 30 somewhere and um yeah minus a, a 29 let's see uh, what the islands have up uh, north here this may be the uh, coldest uh, spot minus a 30 and uh, that is uh, what i'm uh, calling it as a minus a 30 uh minus 30 okay so that's it for our temperatures and uh, i wish uh, sue could get in here but obviously uh, she has uh, some uh, problems with the internet and uh, that number saying uh, there's uh, zero people here and uh, a bunch of us are uh, saying uh, that uh, uh, they are uh, here and uh, cold attempts and uh, let's see uh, Sue uh, just emailed uh, them to me uh, oh uh, YouTube is uh, purging subs again uh, all right um, there is uh, the uh, cold temperatures uh, from uh, Sue I'm uh, just looking to uh, kind of uh, uh, do my thing okay uh, minus 74 that's a tie oh uh, she beat me uh, in uh, Canada uh, so uh, Sue is a uh, plus one and uh, she beat me in Alaska she's a plus one and uh, we are uh, tied in Russia and uh, no uh, sorry uh, we uh, Greenland she beat me uh, by one and uh, Canada uh, she uh, beat me by one yeah and we tied in uh, Alaska and uh, green and russia so uh congratulations sue if you're able to hear me uh, you are the winner uh sue wins uh wins the uh the temps okay and there we go and just in case uh, she is able to see that all uh, cool so uh, thank you sue for uh, doing that and uh, yep it says i've got a uh, one person uh, watching and um uh, Gary, of course, it's uh, you, isn't it? Along with Kananaskis Country is another one person watching. And uh, Barbara is a uh, one person watching. And Shandell and Storm Chaser and Sparks. <laughs> yeah. uh, everybody's just one person. So I guess uh, they uh, put um, one in there. Oh, we got two now. Uh, that is awesome. All right. Well, it is uh, time for me to wrap it up anyway. And I want to say a big a thank you to everyone for being here today. Well, hopefully you're able to hear me. It's been a really a poor day for internet service. <laughs> uh, we had a loss of internet when I was up north there in Cold Lake. And uh, then, of course, uh, down here, no internet as well uh, for a lot of uh, people. Hopefully everyone is okay and um, hopefully everyone is uh, going to have a, uh, a more successful uh, uh, evening. All right, uh, so I'm um, going to wrap it up. A big uh, thanks again uh, to uh, Piggy uh, for uh, uh, gifting in uh, the uh, part one as well as uh, her uh, two uh, euro super chat and an Irish monk uh, for gifting one. And uh, thank you, Grandma B, for gifting uh, one. I uh, appreciate that, that, you guys, and uh, thank you for the support. And on uh, that uh, friendly note, a uh, big uh, thanks uh, to our moderators, Arizona Snowman and Piggy and uh, Sue and Yvonne Kunkel and CND Boy and Gura and uh, Siggy and uh, Gary at uh, 24-7 Live AZ Skies. 
who's uh, saying YouTube is purging. <laughs> and I wouldn't doubt it. I, I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, they uh, probably are. Um, mine, uh, I've uh, dropped six from uh, yesterday. So uh, maybe uh, they are. Anyway, that's it, everyone. Be good, be kind, and take care of yourselves. Um, just a quick uh, note here locally, it is snowing again, and uh, hopefully we won't get too much snow. On those friendly notes, be good, be kind, take care of yourselves if you're hearing me, and of course, uh, all the best to all of you. Uh, so we'll see everyone uh, tomorrow. And, of course, um, we'll uh, be back uh, on uh, the uh, regular uh, times uh, tomorrow. So, uh, thank you, everyone, uh, for being here. And uh, what else? Nope, that's it. I got nothing else to add. Uh, thanks, everyone. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, the Internet will be better. Take care. And uh, please, please, tell your loved ones that you love them tonight. For tomorrow is never promised. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Take care, a good night, and oink, oink.